All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you worried about second marriage? I mean, not yours. <laughs> but do you keep thinking, oh, I'm studying astrology. How can I see if somebody, not me, somebody has second marriage? Or maybe your married life is not very good. And you are thinking if you will have a second marriage, if yes, if at all you will have it or when will there be a divorce so that I can have the second marriage? Is second marriage destined for me or can I choose to not have it? If yes, then when? What kind of second spouse will I have? And all these queries, all right? Then you are in the right place. That's exactly what we are going to discuss today. And if you're new, then please like, comment, share and subscribe. And for consultations regarding your married life, you can always go to my website down in the description. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will help you for... <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> all right. So what is second marriage? Second marriage is second activation of the seventh house. But before we discuss second marriage, we need to discuss if you will have a divorce. Okay. Very, very, very important. So now, what? how do you know if you can have a divorce? Divorce is a situation where majority of your planets in the horoscope are related to the three houses. The first house, sixth house and the tenth house. What do I mean by this? Which means in your bhava chart, not lagna chart, bhava chart, bhava chart, bhava chart, not lagna chart, all right? If you don't know what's Bhava Chart, please type in YouTube Exotic Astrology Bhava Chart, B H A A V C H A R T. You will find my video. Okay. Please go there and you will find uh, the video. So please see this only and only and only from the Bhava Chart. I cannot stress this enough. Okay. So in your Bhava Chart, if you, among the nine planets, if you have like four or five or six planets connecting, connected to these houses, like so for example or if you have prominent planets like the sun moon and the sun and lord connected to either the first house sixth house or the tenth house or like you know six planets seven planets five planets even if five it can work then there are there are very high chances of divorce why i'll I, i'll tell you why because these houses they give you individualistic ideologies okay they give you uh, they because the first house tells you be single think of yourself the sixth house is the classic 12th from the seventh so it says no bondage no partnership i want to do what i want to do and the 10th house is the 12th of the 11th house so it also shows you know court legal proceedings and all this in that context or if majority of your planets are in nakshatras of planets which are in turn related to these three houses then also so for example you have no planets in uh, suppose you hardly have any planet in the first sixth or tenth uh, <clears throat> but somehow uh, among the nine planets you have five or six planets who are sitting in such nakshatras which are lauded by the uh, first house sixth house tenth house you know so for example you you have uh, three planets in Venusian nakshatras, okay, um, like Purva Falguni, for example, for example. So then suppose Venus is your sixth lord and then you have two other planets which are related to, you know, like uh, the a planet which is the tenth lord, okay. So either by planetary placement, lordship or through nakshatra, if there is indications of the first how there are indications of these three houses first sixth or tenth then there is high probability of divorce but that does not mean you will get divorced for divorce to happen you need to have these numbers combinations placements coming in the mahadasha and antar dasha simultaneously okay otherwise the divorce may not happen you may be separated, you may go, come and um, the, the, it could be on and off, okay? But the, there could be divorce if the Mahadasha and the Antardasha are saying the same thing. And these Mahadasha and Antardasha planets are one of those majority planets which are indicating divorce in your chart, okay? Only then 
divorce can happen and of course for divorce you need uh, at least these combinations these placements in one of the three malefics like saturn rahu ketu okay so for example if you have four planets which are indicating divorce and none of the four are saturn rahu ketu then maybe there is no divorce but there is separation okay you, you stay separate but the official divorce doesn't happen but if saturn rahu ketu indicates then 100 there will be divorce and if saturn rahu ketu comes in mahadasha antar dasha along with the other planets which are indicating divorce then there could be divorce now once you have seen this then you know there could be divorce in a client's chart and then now there could be two scenarios if the person is going through a divorce and then you say okay you will get divorced or if the person is already divorced and then the person is coming to you for another marriage consultation to know when there will be second marriage okay so now the talk of second marriage is on cards so then what you need to do is uh, for second marriage you have to do a similar analysis like for example in the dashas you should have the activation of either the second seventh or eleventh or venus because these houses are the houses of marriage so for example suppose a person has um, saturn mahadasha and saturn mahadasha indicates divorce and then the person is divorced okay but the person is divorced somewhere in uh, saturn moon for example okay for for example but now what is happening is then you have to see when is the next dashak coming which is favorable for marriage okay now here many astrologers say the second marriage is third from the uh, seventh which means the ninth house which means if there's a planet in the ninth and after marriage uh, there is the activation of the ninth house so for example if suppose you have moon in the ninth and then ninth house is activated after your divorce so then people say there are astrologers who say that your marriage may occur again okay but somehow with due respect to all astrologers who say this maybe you have done great research and you have found that working perfect fantastic you can say that i have nothing against but in my experience almost i have found it working zero percent of the times which is also in my opinion but natural try to think if there is a health problem what is happening it is always affecting your lagna. It is always the first house. If there is a marriage problem, either it's your first, second, third, fourth, fifth, whatever. Ultimately, it is the seventh house because it is the seventh house is not the spouse. The seventh house is the interaction. It is your area. So ultimately, if you have a second divorce, the same problem is coming in the seventh house because there's a problem in the partnership. Seventh house is again the partnership. Okay. Like people say, oh, the second child is the uh, sibling of the first child. So first child is the fifth house. So the second child is third from the fifth. It's seventh house. Now, this is again a uh, very contradictory. So then if my seventh lord's dasha get activated, will I now, now imagine a person is having one child. Okay, let me tell you where the confusion will come. So imagine the person has one child and then the person is divorced. Divorce is complete now the seventh house is activated so do you think this person will most likely get married or have another child okay of course in kali yuga there could be uh, children as without marriage as kali yuga is getting worse day by day but generally if after divorce the seventh house is activated then you will not see that they are having children they may have an ex marriage okay like second house second house is always the family okay so if you have one child from the first uh, wife or husband and then with the next spouse you have another child so does it mean they are like not part of the family no they are also part of your family right so therefore i have not seen this logic occurring now if you get divorced the second time then they say oh the third is the third wife is the uh, sister of the second wife so again you go three houses so you go from 9, 9, 10, 11. So 11th house. So that's very weird in my opinion. And then you come to Lagna. So fourth wife. 
So then if the Lagna's Dasha comes, your Lagna Lord's Dasha is activated, what happens? I mean, do I get married or something happens to my health or what happens, right? So there's contradiction, there's confusion. So wherever there is ambiguity, I have seen these principles do not work. So the conclusion is you have to proceed ahead for second marriage the way the similar way by which you proceed for first marriage third marriage fourth marriage tenth marriage okay doesn't matter because every time your second house seventh house eleventh house is getting activated and they are bringing the people now the next question is what kind of a second spouse will you have again the same rule will apply you cannot find what kind of a spouse you will apply using astrology. Either it's first, second, third, fourth, fifth or not. You cannot find. But there are some ways by which you can know uh, if there will be some cultural similarities. So, for example, uh, if you are running uh, the Dasha of Jupiter, Mercury, Venus, Moon, the natural benefits, then or even Sun, Mars in this case, then the second, third, fourth wife or husband that you might meet could be of a similar culture, similar religious background, similar language, you know, similar uh, intellectual capacity, some, some, something like that, similar food, similar clothing, okay? Now, if you have dashas of Saturn, Rahu, Ketu, like for example, Saturn is the second lord and Rahu is in your seven. So your Saturn Mahadasha starts, you are divorced and then seventh, uh, Rahu is there. So Saturn Rahu Dasha comes. So then what happens is you will meet somebody uh, who you might have an intercaste marriage. Okay. So you might have a spouse who is very elder to you, like 5, 6, 10 years elder or 5, 6, 10 years younger to you. Okay. So in Saturn Rahu Ketu, not only it can be elder, it could be extremely younger. So there, there will be some something uh, unusual. Okay. Because these planets give unusual things. Okay. So you may be a Japanese and you may marry somebody from Mexico, for example. So a Hindu may marry a Muslim or something like this could happen. Okay. <clears throat> so therefore, again, the same principle will be applied. But you cannot find from the chart, oh, that person is a Leo Lagna, uh, Taurus Lagna, Libra Lagna. You cannot find that. That's not possible. The same rule is applicable for the spouse, first spouse also. People keep asking all the time. Can I find the characteristics of my spouse from my chart? The answer is no. You can try it. You can give a thousand things. It does not work. It, it's a scam. All right. So, for example, if you have Venus in Taurus or in Libra, people say, oh, your wife will be very beautiful. You know, she will be very charming, very uh, like, you know, sexual, very uh, promiscuous or something. You, you, you can see, I'm telling you, this does not work. Or if Venus is in Capricorn, your spouse will be very dull and, you know, ugly looking or something. like. No, it does not work. So whatever does not work, I don't use that. Okay. But yes, of course, you can speak of cultural similarities, which I have always seen. So if the natural benefits are in Dashas, then there are cultural similarities. Okay. And in Malefics, then there are cultural differences, like considerable differences. Okay. So... And now there's one last question. How will I know if I will get married the second time or not? The answer is the same. How will you know if you will get married the first time? Do you have good dashas for marriage in the upcoming years? Like, you know, upcoming 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. So then you will get married, right? If you are unmarried, you will get married. And if you are divorced, similarly, you will get married. Okay, again. Okay, if you are second time divorced, you will get married for the third time. So essentially, the conclusion of the video is everything related to second third fourth fifth sixth or hundredth marriage is the same as the first marriage there is absolutely no difference okay and of course if you have some other findings you can always share it with me i would be very happy to see that in the comments but this is my experience and this is this will this works bang on all the time okay because nowadays i frequently get consultations where people are divorced and they want to get second marriage and bang on. Second house active, bang on. Seventh house, eleventh house, bang, bang, bang. Marriage happens, okay? Rather than, you know, saying, oh, yeah, ninth house is the second wife. You know, third wife is like eleventh house. Fourth husband is the lagna. You know, that, that does not work. It never worked for me at least. I have not seen it working, not even in one. I don't have one single case in my life 
where I have seen this working, all right? And with the 2nd, 7th, 11th, 100% of the times I have seen it working, okay? Of course, it's not black and white. There could be some situations where some plants are good and bad for marriage, both simultaneously, like uh, maybe a plant is lauding the 6th and 7th simultaneously, you know, like for example, <clears throat> Uh, if you are a Leo Lagna, okay, Leo or Cancer, for Cancer, what is happening? Uh, <clears throat> for Leo especially, your Saturn is the 6th Lord and 7th Lord and for Cancer, Saturn is the 7th Lord, 8th Lord. So there could be some issues in getting married. You may find somebody and there could be some issues. That's a separate thing, but um, I have not seen this uh, 9th house, 11th house ascendant working, all right? So proceed the same way as you proceed for first marriage treat the person as if that person is unmarried and do a similar analysis and you will find the best answers all right please let me know down in your comments what is your experience in regards to second marriage and if you enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is wanting to know if they will have a second marriage and if yes when and for consultations regarding your second, third, fourth marriage, you can go to my website down in the description section or even for your first marriage, okay? God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him for sure. Thank you.